everyone today I will show you how to get your Nvidia GP working in Sims 3 the reason why you get any error is because EA only supported GPUs up to 2012 and you're using a GPU which is late 2012 or over so I will show you how to manually add your GPU to the database so your game will run smooth the first thing you need to do is to download a program called Opal Plus Plus I will leave a link in the description for you to download the program once you've downloaded the program, you will have to go into your documents. Documents, electronics art, Sims 3. Once you're in your Sims 3 documents, open a file called device config. This file just displays information about your computer. You want to scroll down until you see graphics card info. Now as you see here, driver and database, found zero march zero this is because your card isn't in a database we have to edit two files to edit these two files you will have to go to your sims 3 download location on your game sims 3 oh. once you're here there's two files we need to edit one's called graphics cards and the other one is called graphics cards rules so basically the graphics card will find one and the graphics rules will match one so what you want to do is first you want to edit the graphics card file I have done a video for AMD users so if you're using an AMD GPU go and watch my previous video I done now we want to go to the NVIDIA section. So, budget in the NVIDIA section, enter, spacebar, card, O, X. Now you want to go to device config file. You want to copy your device ID. What this does, when we uh, edit the um, rules for the graphics card, it will search for your device ID, which will give these two a match. So, device ID. Then once that's done, you want to edit, you want to copy your graphics card name. And do that. Now, once you've done that, you want to save and close. After you've done that, you want to open the graphic card rules. Now, we'll go. now you have four levels of detail, low, medium, high and Uber. Depending on your graphics card model or how old it is, you're going to have to try and estimate what your graphics card can handle for me because it's 1080 Ti. I will be doing Uber settings. So what do I do now? Just go all the way to the end. Take out this GT. Whatever you do, do not remove the stars because it can cause the game to bug out. So you just do the same again. Control C, Control C to copy, Control V, save. Now, close this. Now, after you've done that, if you're a GPU, is over a GTX 970 you will have to use the control panel to limit the FPS because the card is so powerful it can burn the card out and by limiting the FPS your card will be stable enough to run the game without burning out so what you want to do is to open the video control panel Manage 3D settings, program settings. Now, when you get to program settings, you want to go to Sims 3, vertical sync, make sure it's on. Once you click on, click apply settings. Once you've applied, you can close the control panel down. And now your game should be running. So, to find out if it works, run the Sims 3. load up now as you can see the game has started 
Now we want to go back to our documents to see if the card is in the list. So go back to documents, electronics app, Sims 3, open up your device config. Now see here it's found one, matched one. So what we done is when we edit when we put a card in for the settings is put my card at the highest settings it goes to it. Your GP will vary depending on what model you have, if it's newer or older. Okay. Now you have a state now you will have a stable game running. So all of that you had before or status should disappear. But that's also caused by hardware build. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like my channel for more. Press start. Oh,